And by the way, if you think he tells the truth, if you think your new leader tells the truth, what's the first thing he's going to do when he gets in office? I will promise you this, that if we have not gotten our troops out by the time I am president, it is the first thing I will do. I will get our troops home. We will bring an end to this war. You can take that to the bank. You can take that to the bank. Okay, so anyway, we'll get into it. Supreme Court, check this out. You got to see it to believe it. The U.S. Supreme Court declares that the president and military can declare any American to be an enemy combatant. That will make them a non-person under the law, which means they can be arrested without charges, tortured, because now torture's cool, right? Don't even get me going. And disappeared. Congress and the media remain silent. You don't hear a word. I want to show you some pictures now of people who became non-persons. Show them what happens to people who become non-persons. Before you know it, we don't need them. We can get rid of them. They have no rights. Matter of fact, we'll make them wear IDs. We'll make them carry a national ID. You know these people that you see starving, that you see stacked up like cordwood, that they did medical experiments on? This is not good. And for you people who care about liberty and care about freedom, it's time now to stand up. The president can't declare anybody an enemy combatant, and he can't say that any foreign person who comes in the country doesn't have to abide by our laws and has amnesty from all our laws. No, this totalitarian government that's being set up, okay, this tyranny, we need to get people who will fight tyranny. We need to start thinking about freedom and liberty and our grandchildren. And stop letting these private banksters, these globalist banksters, okay, not only tax you to death, spend you to death, okay, but then what, arrest you by giving you a title? Enemy combatant? You viewers have to start caring. You have to start waking up. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, gosh. More good news for you, right? An analyst predicts 2010 food shortages in the U.S., why I brought that to you is because, once again, here in Massachusetts, we're going to take our, you know, we're going to have biofuel. What's that going to do to the price of food? Around the globe, as all this bull carbon hoax stuff goes down, once again, the Al Gore thing. My gosh, Al Gore, Bernie Madoff, Goldman Sachs, and Ken Lee. Create a carbon credit exchange. Crook, 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 crook. This global warming thing's a hoax. This police state they're creating. If you don't think they're creating a police state, take a look at Massachusetts state troopers go out searching for a bank robber. They look like state troopers to you. Meanwhile, we have what? Military running checkpoints, but they're for sobriety. Do you see what's happening? The president saying that anyone from a foreign country comes in is immune from all our laws. The people saying the president can give money to any company they want without going through Congress. So anyway, what can you expect from 2010? Well, Brand Obama, that's how they sold him to you, right? Because he's an honest guy, because he's for change. Hasn't changed the thing the Bush administration's done, because, hey, he was funded by the same globalist bankers. Who was his greatest fund campaign guy? Goldman Sachs. So anyway, what's the first thing he's going to do? I've got to show it to you again. It is the first thing I will do. I will get our troops home. We will bring an end to this war. You can take that to the bank. Because that's the first thing he's going to do. So anyway, Brand Obama, what can I get out of 2010? How about more terror? Staged or real, I expect to see more terror. Why? And who's going to feed it to me? The media and the government. And who's going to be behind it? Probably the CIA. I don't doubt it. They've done it their whole existence. Okay? Always, once again, hyped by the media. Um, can I expect a larger, more of a police state? Well, I wonder. What does 2010 have in store? Can I expect more fascism? Well, when the government controls 70% of the economy... What did Mussolini say? Does anybody, you know, anybody ever read anything? You know, can I expect more inflation? Are they tanking our currency? What's happened in history? Boy, I showed you the pictures of the Holocaust. Did they tank the German currency? Did they give the German people someone to hate, like the Jews? And now they're giving us someone to hate, like the Muslims? Boy, does history repeat itself? Can I expect higher food prices when I'm taking the land that I grew food on and now I'm growing fuel on it? Can I expect more taxes? Even in my community of Sharon, 
Can I? Are the cost of things going up as inflation goes up and the purchasing power of the currency goes down? Can I expect less employment? What can I expect in 2010? Can I expect more global conflicts? Maybe if things get real bad, they'll whip up a big war for you. Yeah, so you can wrap the flag around you and we can get some nationalism going with our socialism. Okay? Can I expect a greater economic collapse? Boy, when 92% of the people they gave tarp money to still have all the same people managing it? Can I expect more laws? There are now over a million laws. And for you attorneys out there, why don't you come on my show, sit on my show and tell me ignorance of the law is no defense. Well, do you know the million laws? Once again, why are we setting up this police state? Uh, can we expect the defense budget is now greater than the 50 states? How big is the defense budget going to get? Does it get to be bigger than the world budget? Okay, now, a little bit of 9-11 Zen. I like to whip in some every show. Here it is. Show it to them. Gee, they've looked over the data from the black box from, what's it, Flight 77. You know, the one that hit the Pentagon. We're told by the people who what? Who tell you the truth? Well, it's interesting because guess what? The cabin door was never opened. Yeah, that's one of the criteria recorded by the black box on the airplane. So I'll ask you people, did they tell you the truth about 9-11? About these hijackers? Yeah. Hmm. I wonder. Have they been telling me the truth? Is the health care bill about giving you better health care? <laughs> you know, we're going to ration care? Have fun, you ration care. Hey, what other countries had national health care? Did Hitler have his national health care? I wonder. Hmm. So I'm going to give you the epiphany that struck me, and I hope you have enough time for this. But here's how it goes. I brought these buttons for you, and I want you to pay attention that was easy. as I press the button. Okay, here's the thought. We have someone who disguises and says they're a bank. They're called the Federal Reserve Bank. That's the title we gave them. And if you read the Federal Reserve Act, do they have to pay any state taxes, federal taxes, local taxes, any taxes at all? That was easy. I guess they don't, huh? Find out if I lie. There's your homework. Does the Federal Reserve Bank, one, first question, is it federal? That was easy. Do they have any reserves? That was easy. Yeah, I wonder. Okay, and they're a system. That was easy. So here's the deal. They tell us they have an overnight lending window. So banks can come to them and get pretty much interest-free loans nowadays. And they're going to, what, pay the money back in the morning? That was easy. So you got to think about it, huh? You needed the money just for tonight, and you had the money because you could pay it back in the morning. So I was talking with a financial person that I know, very intelligent, and he was telling me, well, what we need is like someone like Paul Volcker to come back in as the chairman of the Fed because Volcker would raise interest rates. And so here's where I, I kind of caught on to something that I hope I have not... I, you, whether we go in overtime, you got to understand this. you got to consider these thoughts... Think about freedom and liberty, but think of these thoughts. Now, the Federal Reserve Bank can create currency from nothing. That was easy. As easy as I push this button. That was easy. So they can create money from nothing. That was easy. They don't have any reserves. That was easy. They're not a bank. And I say that because they don't have to open their books. They've never been audited. That was easy. A bank that doesn't have to get audited. That was easy. Hey, that's pretty good, huh? So I ask you, they supposedly lend money for interest. That was easy. And they get you, the reason we pay taxes is to pay that interest on the money they created from nothing. That was easy. So I've got to ask you, that was easy. if you were a cookie maker and the means of exchanges were cookies, that was easy. And you could make cookies that easy. That was easy. And nowadays they're electronic cookies, they're not even paper cookies. Why would you care if you got paid the interest if all you have to do that was easy. is press the button? That was easy. And there's more money. That was easy. I can add zeros. That was easy. That was easy. I can add more zeros. That was easy. I can give the money to Goldman Sachs. That was easy. And to my buddies. That was easy. And all my banker friends. That was easy. And guess what? I've got people stealing and killing and robbing for that money. That was easy. Stepping on top of people, selling people into slavery, that white slavery, easy. black slavery, whatever. That was easy. That was easy. Why do they care about interest? I have something for you to consider. The Paul Volcker thing, he would come in and raise interest rates that would, that would strengthen the dollar. That interest. Do you think that's only so that they could fool us? To make us believe that the thing that they created from nothing with the press, my finger... They created some more money. That was easy. Created some more money. That was easy. 
Why would they care if they got interest? Unless it was just to keep the facade going that people think that they are a bank. They never open their books, so you can't see accounts receivable, accounts payable. You can't see what they have for assets or liabilities.